Just society to be enthroned, no offence must be allowed to go unpunished. The Lagos State Government has arraigned the Eze Indigbo of Ajao State, Frederick Wajago, for alleged terrorism. He was arraigned before the state's high court, sitting in Tafa Balewa Square, on nine counts bordering on attempt to perpetrate acts of terrorism, participation in terrorism, meeting to support a proscribed entity, attempt to finance an act of terrorism, and preparation to commit an act of terrorism. He pleaded not guilty when he was brought before Justice Yetunde Adesanya. The judge adjourned the case till July 4th for the commencement of trial. Judy, we are still talking about leaders that would not learn to exercise Constra restraints. This is a man that just came on TV and was running his mouth. He Anyhow. felt he was catching crews. He felt he was talking and he said he was going to bring IPOB members down to Lagos to, to well, oversee the affairs and con um, provide security, security. to uh, 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 traders and protect their interests. So he felt it was a joke. So the normal, you go on, you waste your cheap data, go on internet. So he has <laughs> talked himself into trouble. Maybe he's in Kirikiri now. He has been in Kirikiri. He has been in uh, police detention since and, and till July, he's going to be there at least as far as I know. It's so, a lesson, Ayo. Mm. It's a lesson. Let people realize that no one is above the law. Before now, this kind of matter will be treated as... Honestly. Uh, like, DSS, they went after him. He was hiding. They just warned him, you know. Mm. They dragged him out yes. of where he was hiding. You go and commit a uh, crime and then hide under a bed. You feel you are in your house, you can just make any video. I mean, you want to cause panic. Look at what people are going through in Imo states. Mm. Imo and Anambra. See the way people are being killed. We talk about it. I'm telling you. We demand that our government Terrorism. must secure our people. Once you are kidnapped in Imo now, you know that you are, you, you are gone. You are gone. Even if you pay ransom, they will still take your life. That is the level of and wickedness. And people cannot look still go the, out on Mondays. Look at the, look at the um, couple, the military couple. Honestly. They, they slaughtered. They were wasted. They, they, they even, look, look at the kind of things that they did to them. In such a barbaric yes. way. How... Why will a human being go to the point of disemboiling a human being? If you are in your we right sense. We do not want anything close to that to happen in Lagos. And I know that a good number of our people from the East who are making their money in Lagos, they are law-abiding. Yes. That's what the governor of Ebony said. And he said, where you are prospering in the place. You've got to respect the people. And it, it makes sense to do that. You cannot, yes, some things happened in, during the election that a lot of us have condemned. Yes. People have asked me, they, they do condemn the you can't, uh, suppression you can't of votes. You Four times I did. You can't I'm, not, the uh, I'm not a coward. Nobody can come out to say try to drag a certain out. set of people should not come out and vote. I who are condemned you? it. You can't he stop asked anybody. Me for my opinion, I condemned it. I will condemn it a million times. I want to see people vote and not be resisted. Leave them, let them. Nobody vote. should be suppressed. Don't beat up anybody. I gave the example of what happened here in Magodo. They didn't have to beat anybody. You know? And they still won with a hefty margin. If you do your work where you do your, your uh, what's it called, uh, mobilization, sufficient mobilization, you are going to win. So we oppose beating up people in the name of election. We oppose suppression of uh, votes on election day, hmm. but we do not condone uh, using, uh, I mean, uh, making a broadcast and threatening fire and brimstone, um, uh, behaving as if you have control over IPOP. IPOP is not, a prescribed organization. It's not even an itinerant group like that, that you can send for them, like uh, you are inviting Obesity to come and play at a party. <laughs> He was no. just catching crews, I'm sure. He was just... He didn't know that. He didn't know that.
to show you look that at all look. The, look at all the charges. Look at it. Huh? You know, it may not be a participation in terrorism, in perpetrate act of terrorism, meeting <laughs> to support a proscribed entity, attempt to finance an act it of terrorism, act of and Police preparation to commit an act that of terrorism. To get to this point, the police, they will draft, <laughs> they will draft the charges. Eh? <laughs> no, this at a time when you know people were really tensed up. Mm -hmm. He only came to worsen things, and they've decided to put him in his place. You can be an easy of, uh, made him the, of TVC, easy of whatever. Him, who made him? You are not bigger than the law. You don't have immunity. Be it, is Buhari, it is Buhari, uh, Shibaja, the governor. So have immunity. immunity and deputy governor. Eh? All yeah. right. We take this breather. When we come back, we'll talk more. Thank you for staying with us. It's still journalist hangout. Paul Dada. So I'm sure this is a digbo. He did not set out. Frederick. Why Jago? He did not set out for what he, he did not bargain for what he has gotten. He just felt that he wanted, you know. Uh, well, he, he, he was talking out of, to draw attention out mm. of anger, mm. and uh, you know they say that just uh, uh, the cloud chaser. Uh, there is freedom of speech in, in the law, but there is also limitation to limitation freedom of speech. To that freedom then, of the law also imposes limit. You can't just open your mouth and say anything you like. Besides, um, I understand Eze means king. Uh, well, I don't know what king he is, but it's supposed to be a, a leader of, the, of an Igbo community in that particular area. Uh, area. And that should... There's no official impose, arrangement like that. Uh, well, whatever it is, as a leader, he should be able to exercise some rest, restraint. You know, we just talked about pastors, mm. you know, who are very influential and then they talk recklessly. That's the same thing. That the same principle must apply to traditional a, man, a, a man to traditional rulers. If, is that if no, no community is, heads mm. like, like 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 him? So he spoke uh, recklessly, and we have to be very very careful. Even as saying that he would bring uh, representatives of, of an outlawed group, a, a group that we know has caused mayhem. That was how he finished in, in himself. The, in the yes. Mm. That means you know, he, has, he, has a, he has a link. link and and reckless, he has to yes. now. reckless talks have to be checked. I'm telling you. Reckless talks have been known to contribute to genocide. It was yep. part of it was, yep. it was, all over the world. It was part of what contributed to the uh, Rwanda genocide some, some years back. People were making incendiary comments in the public. During the election, a lot of people, they were just going live and they were just inciting all sort, people. All sorts all sort of things. So, he, But you know him, when they catch these people? Mm. You will now see them behaving like an extremely gentle, like a lamb, little boy. Mm. You know, it's 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 it. look at the one who claimed that uh, uh, that uh, Anambra uh, billionaire mm. uh, received uh, this thing from Tinobu, this and that. Yes, that mm. received patronage from Tinobu. Mm. He got hold of him. Mm. He had to apologize. So when we test our laws. A lot of the people, the cowards who sit on social media mm. and harass people. If we get hold of some of them and charges are filed, exactly. Lessons they will regret them. their actions. Plus, because a lot of the things that they do, if the long arm of the law mm. catches up with them, they will know that Just spend we, one have a, we have a, one week in Kiri -Kiri. Uh, this thing, we have law against uh, cyber bullying. bullying. And all that. Mm. Just spend, you just say this, what you like. This person is, was identifying himself I with mean, IPOB. If, if all he was saying was that, okay, government should ensure that those who perpetrated violence, those what, who stopped, what, or that, who targeted evil uh -huh. people and all of that, government should make sure that they were arrested and all of that. Nobody would. That would be a very sane thing to you, say. I think the, 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 the statement that I made that it will bring IPOB. IPOB, yeah. So that is what that was, frightened was, people that are. You want to bring IPOB to Lagos. <laughs> Those who in uh, in uh, the east, they people not... can't go to their to work. <laughs> on the Schools side. don't open on Mondays. On Mondays. They now open on Saturdays. Hmm. Businessmen are diverting their cargoes, their containers from uh, Onisha to as far as Akwaibo. Hmm. You are now saying that you want that kind of system to happen in Lagos, in a place where 
you have made money, you have you have become Benefited somebody. So much. Mm. You cannot. You, you you nobody will you made, allow. You made yourself. It's a dig of a so, so let's, yes. let, let's make it clear that mm. he wasn't speaking on behalf of the Igbo community in Lagos. No, <laughs> no, no. Or even oh, even the Igbo community of Aja West. Even Aja, he was speaking for himself. Was legitimate was businessmen. Then people doing their business yeah. that they, they, they don't even associate with this uh, kind of definitely. So Igbo people are guys are guys are just. It's not representative of. It's not what is said. It's not representative of the Igbo, Igbo feeling, Igbo, simple, Igbo feeling, or Igbo thinking in Lagos. Igbo, Igbo people are not looking for, to breach security They don't want to bring mm -mm. Uh -huh. mm -mm. They, are, mm -mm. Fact, they, want to they are even them. praying. They want the safety the, the of their life and properties and their businesses. Uh -huh. oh, that's all what they want, legitimate that's people. So, okay. we... The lesson, sir. It's a lesson of don't run your mouth anyhow. Yes, and you, yes. You're buttoning up your mouth. Yes, so this will serve as a deterrent to others. Mm. Uh, if you think you can stand... Uh, uh, Behind your camera and start talking. Say rubbish. No, say just watch it. <laughs> yeah, They're coming for you. Watch. They will catch you. Oh, they will coming back. for you. You think he ran away, but he was back. located. He was uh, pinpointed uh, and. <laughs> I think it was in Ejibo that they mm, said. Yes. Him. One hotel in Ejibo. Uh, ran away. You can't run from the long arm of the law. Dim Karan, Dim mm. Karan away now. Mm -hmm. But he was caught uh, somewhere in today's Ebony uh, um, State. Mm -hmm. So, it's the Dig Wajawe State. We wish you the best of luck, mm -hmm. Frederick Wajagbo, as you, whatever, the long arm of the Lord. <laughs>